how would you deal with a DM that is out to kill the party? I think that there is a very simple way to deal with a dungeon master who is out to kill the party. Are you a dungeon master looking for 5th edition adventures and other pre-made resources you can use in your D&D game? If so, Layer Magazine has exactly what you need. Each monthly issue of Layer Magazine contains two 5th edition adventures complete with maps for use on virtual tabletops, plus a plethora of other GM resources. New monsters, puzzles, traps, magic items, NPCs, and more. DM Layer patrons receive a new issue of Layer Magazine every month and also get bonus content such as map packs and additional 5e adventures. Reduce your prep time and improve your games with Lair Magazine. Become a DM Lair patron today. And when I am role playing my enemies, I get super excited when they have critical hits. I it I roll a 20 and it's like critical hit! Woo! Doing more damage. I get excited over those things. I do. And when my enemies are doing cool things and it, it's fun, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a blast. And people can see that. But it's easy to mistake that for me actually wanting to kill the characters because I don't. I want to have fun. I want to get those critical hits. I want them to be like, oh my gosh, this is, woo, we might die. But I want them to win, even though I'm excited about critical hits and I'm excited about doing damage and I'm, I'm excited about casting spells. I still want my players' characters to win. I always want them to win. I don't want a TP. I don't want a TPK. I will allow it to happen because I believe it is better for the game for there to be a possibility of failure, but there's a difference between allowing it to happen and wanting it to happen. The mentality that you should have, in my opinion, as a dungeon master, the way you should think is, I am going to role play the enemies the best I can. And the enemies want to win. They are not gonna hold back. They are gonna go full bore. They, if there is a fight, they're going to try to kill the characters because I am role playing those enemies and they want to win and they want to kill the characters. However, I as the dungeon master do not want the enemies to win. I as the dungeon master want the player's characters to win. In fact, the mentality that a dungeon master should have is that you should be the biggest fan of your player's characters. You should be rooting for them. You should want to see them succeed. You should want to see them stand over their enemies in victory. You should want your enemies to fail. They might die. They might run away. That is the proper mentality. Yes, you're trying hard. Yes, you want them to win, but you actually want your player's characters to win. Even though you're doing the best you can to kill them, you don't want that to happen. You want your characters to win. That is the mentality of an awesome dungeon master, in my opinion. And that is the way one should think. I think that there is a very simple way to deal with a dungeon master who is out to kill the party and that is probably to just leave the game okay yes yes sure you want to have a conversation with them you don't want to just walk away so have a conversation with them well, what's the conversation hey mr dungeon master uh it it really feels like you just want to kill us all like when i'm playing your game it feels like your intention your goal, what you want to do, and everything seems to be pushing and striving toward this is you want to kill us all. And it's not just that your enemies want to kill us and that you're role-playing them and they want to kill us, but we really feel like you, the dungeon master, want to kill us. You will be fulfilled and have fun and enjoy yourself more if you kill us all and all of our characters die. We feel like that is the reason you're running this game. You feel that it is you versus us and your goal is to kill us. And if you achieve that goal and we all die, you're going to be happy. You're going to laugh and smile and that's going to be the best day of your life here in this D&D game. And so we're expressing to you that that's the way we feel. We feel like you're out to get us constantly and then see what they say. And if they come back and they're like, oh, no, that's not the case at all. Well, maybe you're making some progress. If they come back and say yes, because that's what the game is about. I am f trying to play to win just as much as you are. And my win scenario is killing you all. And so, yes, I'm trying to kill you. And yes, I have fun when you all die. That is my objective and my goal. I want to kill you all. 
not just my monsters, but me as the dungeon master. I want you to all die in that game. If your dungeon master comes back and tells you that their express purpose and goal is to kill your characters and that they will enjoy that and have fun when you all die, then you should probably walk away from that game. Maybe you can reason with that person. Maybe you can try to convince them that that's not the right mindset and mentality to have as a dungeon master. But in my experience, the few dungeon masters that I've encountered that that have that mentality, they are not people that can be reasoned with. They are not usually nice people either. They are out to get you and they get their jollies from seeing you suffer and die in the game. So maybe you can talk to them. Maybe you can try to explain to them that there's a different way to be a dungeon master. You might link them to my videos and show me, hey, this person here is they're a YouTuber and they talk about a better way to be a dungeon master and a better mindset to have. You might do that. You might be able to show them and they might grow. They might change. They might run their games a different way, but they might not. And if they don't and their mind is closed and they are just like, nope, this is the way I play. This is the way it's going to be. Suck it up, boy. Then you probably just want to walk away. Find yourself a different game, hopefully. Or if you can't find yourself a different game, you become the dungeon master like many fine people have done when they were in horrible games run by bad dungeon masters. They say I can do better and they start their own games. Click on the screen now to watch another fine DM Layer video or to become a DM Layer patron, play D&D with me and get an issue of Layer Magazine every month. And until next time, let's play D&D.